this video, we will bind the data aggregator we installed earlier to the DX NetOps portal we also installed earlier. Then, once the data aggregator is bound to the portal, we will verify the data collector is bound to the data aggregator. We will perform all of these steps in the DX NetOps portal instead of using the command line utility like we did for the previous steps in the installation. The first step is to access the DX NetOps portal and log in. To access the DX NetOps portal, the URL is the hostname or IP address of the portal server, followed by the port number, which we use the default port 8181 when we performed the install, forward slash PC, forward slash desktop, forward slash page. So we are on the portal login page and we will log in as admin. However, because this is the first time we are accessing the portal, we have a prompt to change the password because we are not using the default password for the admin user. To change the password, we'll click the Change Your Password Now link. Then on the Change Password screen, enter admin for the old password. Enter a new password. In the Confirm Password field, enter the new password again. Then click Submit. Now we're logged in. To bind the data aggregator, we'll navigate to the Administration Data Sources page. On the Manage Data Sources page, we can see that there is no data aggregator here. To bind the data aggregator to the portal, we'll click the Add button. Then in the Add Data Source window, in the Source Type drop-down menu, we'll choose Data Aggregator. In the Hostname field, we'll copy the hostname of the data aggregator from the text file with our list of hostnames and paste it into the hostname field. The port number is already populated with 8581, which is the default data aggregator port number, and the port number auto-filled when we selected data aggregator as the source type. And the display name was also auto-populated when we entered the host name. Next, before we save the settings, we will click Test to test the connection. The test was successful, so now we can click Save. Right now it is currently binding, and this can take a few minutes. While it is binding, we can see here that the version number for the data aggregator is 21.2.11, which confirms that we have installed the correct version. And we can also refresh the page while we are waiting to see if it is actually finished. But it is still binding. We'll refresh one more time, and now the status is available, so the data aggregator is now bound to the DX NetOps portal. Next, we'll confirm the data collector associated with the data aggregator is actually connected by navigating to Administration Monitored Items Management Data Collectors. On the data collector page, we can see the data collector we installed earlier is listed, confirming the data collector is in fact associated with the data aggregator. We can also see it as functional, but it isn't actually monitoring any network items yet, as this requires additional device discovery configuration that takes place after completing the full installation process. So with the data aggregator bound to the DX NetOps portal and the data collector showing it is connected and fully functional, the DX NetOps performance management installation process demonstration is complete.